Hey guys, the objectives of this video are to consider direction cosines for 3D vectors, as well as look at a 3D vector example. We'll start off by looking at this plot here. What this plot shows is a vector f, and it's been broken down into its x, y, and z components. This component here we'll call fx, this component in the y direction we'll call fy, and this component here we'll call fz. And of course this one is going in the x direction, so we'll put an i after that. This one's in the y direction, so we'll put a j after that. And this one's in the z direction, so we put a k. So now we have these three vectors. If we look at this uh, plot here and we project it down onto the xy plane, as we've been doing in the previous, as we were doing in the previous video, um, we can see that it makes a certain angle alpha with the x-axis, a certain angle beta with the y-axis, and the angle that this vector here makes with the z-axis, we're going to call gamma. Now these three angles will give us our direction cosines. Now we'll see why the direction cosines are so useful to us uh, when we get to doing the example. But just for the moment, we've got cos alpha, cos beta, and cos gamma. These three aren't equal, aren't equal to anything. These are our three direction cosines. And if we want to work out the magnitude of f, we simply take the components, take the squares of each of the components, and then the squares.